Hello everyone, this is Lamid Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at the Ember router. So last time we looked at how to install Ember, so this time we'll take a look at the router. So first of all, before we create a route, let's determine why we need a route. So I am assuming that when you're creating single page applications using stuff like Ember, you'd want your users to be able to go to different parts of your website. And the way you can let them do that is to be able to type in URLs and visit different pages. So for example, let's say we wanted a user to be able to go to a URL called um, hashbang forward slash first route. Um, right now, our application doesn't let us do that. I mean, it may seem everything's okay, but when we go to the console, Ember is telling us the URL first route did not match any routes in your application. And the reason for that is we haven't defined a route for it. So let's go ahead now and define a route with the name first route that corresponds to the URL first route. So before we do that, um, let's, let me just make one distinction that your route name doesn't have to be exactly what's inside your URL here. So you can have a route called my route and then secondly you have to say you can say whatever it corresponds to in your URL. So let me just show you quickly what that means. So right now how you define routes is inside this app.route um, router.map here. So remember last video I said it wasn't doing anything so in this video we'll make it do something. So inside of there is where you define your routes and how you do that is you say this dot route and it takes two parameters a route the first one is the route name so let's just say um, our router uh, let's say now let's just say first route router yeah and then the second parameter is it takes a hash and the hash takes a key value pair of path with the key and the second um, value is actually what corresponds in your URL so in this case first route and you'll see in most Ember um, tutorials they'll make this the same first route and first router but they don't have to be exactly the same but for convention's sake they are usually the same so if you just look closely I said first router and first route they don't have to be the same but for convention's sake most likely you'll want to make them the same so I'll just make them first route here okay so now let's go back in our browser and visit the first route I'll refresh um, this page and the error goes away so now let's try to type first route and voila everything seems to work right but what happened we're still seeing welcome to ember.js but we're not seeing anything underneath and the reason for that is if we look at our index.html file you will notice that we do have a, a script tag here which is our application um, template and this one here is our index and by default ember renders your index if you don't type anything so in this case if we go to the home page here it's rendering whatever is inside here but then if we want to render any other page we have to create a template that corresponds to that page so in this case we have a first route we have to create a first route template and how you do that is you just create a script tag normally and give it a type of text forward slash x handlebars and inside um, then you give it an ID which corresponds to the name of your route so in this case our route is called first route so we'll give it that name and inside here we can type anything we want to show up in that route when we visit it so we say our first route here as well and we'll remove this outlet because we don't need it for now okay so now let's go back in our browser and we refresh and then let's go to first route if everything works fine we should see our first route so yes that works okay so just to recap what we did in this tutorial video we went to app.router.map and inside it we created our first route and if you remember the name of the route does not necessarily have to be the same as the URL and um, just to rectify just to make um, explain that properly let me just say first router in URL save that I'll refresh as you can see it's giving us an error because even though the name of the route is first route, but the URL there is wrong. So we'll say first route in 
URL and when I click this one should work and when I refresh the error should go away so that's one very important distinction I wanted to make so that's it guys this is how you create a router in Ember.js and the name of the route here first route has to be exactly the same as the name of your um, template so in this case how you give a name to a template is you give it an ID and then inside there you give it the value of the name of the route you want to link to okay that's it guys for this video thanks for watching i will see you in the next another video bye